Hey everyone, Dusty here, and today I'm going to give you two tips. One on your race number, and the second one on your race belt. So the first tip I'll give you is on your race number. And the very first thing that I do when I get my race package is I take out my race number, and I, I crumple it up. And the more stiff a race number is, the tighter I'll crumple it up. I don't know if you've experienced this or not, but having a stiff race number is can be one of the worst things, especially on a windy day. So if you have to wear your race belt and your race number on the bike, some races you don't have to, but if you do and your number is stiff, it could just flap in the wind constantly and it is super annoying. And then when you get off the bike and you turn your number around to the front, if your race number is super stiff, it can flap in the wind too and go every which way. It can move into your arm swing during your run and just be a real pain in the butt. So I know some of you out there might want to hang on to your race number as a keepsake and what I would say to that is just uncrumple it. So just smooth it out as best you can after. I mean, you're gonna go through a race and your race number is just gonna have some race wear and that's fine. But when you're hurting out on the bike and hurting out on the run, the last thing you wanna worry about is having a stiff race number that's flapping in the wind or it keeps running into your arm during the run. So the easy solution is just to crumple it. And don't crumple it so that when you put it on your body it's, it's not able to be visible. Just crumple it up enough so that it's not gonna catch the wind as a perfectly flat, stiff race number would be. And just make sure your number is still ex exposed and you won't have any issues with any volunteers or race officials. So tip number two has to do with not only your race number, but also the race belt. So in triathlon events, we wear race belts because we can't pin race numbers to our tri suits in triathlon events. And in some races, but not all, it's mandatory that you wear your race number on the bike and on the run. Now this tip is only gonna save you three to five, maybe up to 10 seconds in transition. But for those races where it's going to be mandatory that you wear the number on the bike, put your race belt on and number under your wetsuit. So actually start the race in it and that way you don't have to put your number on or think about it when you get into transition after the swim. You don't have to worry about your race belt coming off, it'll stay on because it's protected by your wetsuit. When you take your wetsuit off, it'll more than likely stay on as well. Your race number won't be destroyed. Like I said, crumple it up before, some water won't hurt it. And that way you can save a couple of seconds. Who knows, if you're in a sprint finish with someone and beat them by two or three seconds, you can credit that to the race belt tip. So there's a couple of tips for you for your next race. Crumple up your race number if you haven't been already. And then if it's mandatory that you wear your race number on the bike, I would just put your race belt on in transition before you start the swim. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe for more everything running, triathlon, and nutrition related.